uneducated and ready to tell you anything I feel like it. But in this scenario, I'm going to show you it very easily. What happened is I showed this video that, you see the three different sections once I colored it in? See, it looks like it's sideways, the whole board. One is a flat surface this way, and the other one's a flat surface. Nothing is on the top. If you bring it a little closer, if you notice, it's all 3M and W, or 3M and W. It does not finish. Only two eights come out from each side. And then in between, the one eight on the corner that connects the two sides. Don't forget, in this world, it's all about space. You want to go to outer space, you want to have space, and you need space. I have not enough space. I need a place to put my stuff, says George Garland. So now we do this. Everybody knows what this is. It's basically the Olympics. Take away this mark in the center. Both of these come together, and it's just a plain, ordinary X. But this is not what I want to talk about. Again, 88, 64, 88, 64. Both the chests move. 8 times 88 is 512 memory. It also says Abe. A, B, D. Bad. 1,024 added equals 1148. 1148 is the time we're in right now. 8 by 4 and 8 plus 4 is 44 equaling the space. Now what I'm going to show you about space is to connect the space to have the empty space. We have the United States flags. There's 50 stars. Six and five, and six and five, and six and five. Six and five. In between the six and five, in between the six is five. In between the five is four. Five and four is nine. Nine, eleven. You have 50 stars with space of six and five. If you go to the Monopoly game, on the Monopoly game, I seem to have lost the page, but on the Monopoly game, there's five properties, and then there's six properties, and then there's five properties, but in Monopoly is special, because on one side of Go has two properties, on the other side of Go has two properties, so it has Two from Go, Mediterranean, and Baltic. The Mediterranean, number 43, stands for our, our, our dear beloved. And uh, number 43, then on number 46 is the Oriental. Then Vermont and Connecticut. So that's five. We go around the other corner, which is the 9-11 corner, of course, and we end up with St. Charles. Now, this is the corner I don't know. So we end up with St. Charles and two other dark purple colors. And then we come into um, states. And then we run to Tennessee. That's a danger area. And New York. And that's the 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 area where it goes right to free parking, jumps onto the other side, in which you have three for Kentucky, three for Illinois, and three for Indiana. New York, Indiana, three on one corner, three on the other corner. You come to the end of this corner, now you're running in um, yellow, and um, I'm not quite sure, it's Ventnor, Atlantic, and Marvin Gardens, if I can remember correctly. So that's another three. So that area is six. The two sides of free parking are six and six. Okay? Six, six, five, and five, just like the flag. And we're going to get to the second part of our 6, 6, 5, and 5, is that the 50 stars, or 50 times 47, because 47 is the halfway number. It, well, it's in between. You can't start off at 1, and you can't end at 50. You've got to be in between everything. 47, 3 for creation, if you want to look at it that way. 50 is the passage. 47 times 50 equals 2350, and that's when Moses was born. Then we go to the set of eggs. An egg tray. You go up to the egg farmer, you say, Farmer, how many eggs in a tray? He's going to say there's 30 eggs in a tray, two and a half dozen, 15 and 15, in rows of six and five. But there's only 30 eggs. So what do we have to do? So we understand we'll take the 30 eggs and multiply 30 by 47 equals 1,410. That's the 14th of October, this, this month. Okay, when you take the 1410 and you add it up to the 50 stars times 47 of 2350, 
23.50 and 14.10 is 37.60 Hebrew time. Take away three years from that, it'd be 37.57. It's the time we're in right now. 37 is the Nibiru part. The part when Jesus came is the same number. 37 is when Nibiru came. Is when they talk about Nibiru. Excuse me. So now we do this. Now we ask ourselves our questions. Where's the six and five? Where's the six and five? Well, I'm not quite sure how to get to the next six and five, but I will tell you the result. Forty-three times the next forty-seven equals to two thousand and twenty-one. Now, the numbers are a little wrong. Okay, because when God decided to build this shit we're in, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, Rubik's Cube. When God decided to put us, put this island over here, however it was, a day was a year, that's all. Six days, six years. We're six years behind. We're actually in 2019 right now. So number 43, everybody knows. Because JFK was the other half of 43. He was 34. That's as hot and cold water. Number 43, the 43rd President of the United States, El Senorita, uh, El Senor, El Presidente. Of course, I have to say it a little in Spanish because we're not actually from here, said Christopher Columbus, right? El Presidente is uh, Sir Barry Satoro Barack Obama and his clan. He's number 43. So when you multiply 43 by the 47 of who it is, he's the stars in one. Earth and Mars, ACDC, stands for the moon. 3 by 4, 3 plus 4 equals 12. And 7 is 19. 1 by 9, 1 plus 9. It's the nine lives of the cat in the cat house, in the dog pound. And when you're in the dog pound, your one life only makes eight surrounds you. If you're in the center of nine, you're eight. So what we do is here, number 43. We entered 2021. We're actually in the year 2019, 2020 right now. So we're only off by one year between all the 50-50s, all the 6 and 5s, all the 9-11s. I did something today that came out the 767. Did I show you this? This is the Monopoly game. This is what happens in each corner. This is an obligation. This is not because I'm a mathematician, because I'm not. This is an obligation because when you draw your lines and you create the monopoly board evenly, there's four here, two and two. And all along here is nine spaces. That's 13. You go 13, 12, 12, 12. Girl, that's mitzvah. A guy is bar mitzvah. He has his dick in the air. Why did I say dick in the air? One, three, and four. One, four, and three. ACDC stands for dick. It's an antenna of some sort. So you need it like this. You see the way this is, it can almost balance in this corner? There's other designs you can make also. But it's not me. Take a look. It's too high, and it's one across. It's double the size of this, just like the Monopoly board, so I can't change it. In between here is the train track. Train track, train track, train track. Here's free parking. Here's go. Do you know why we start go, and why the Greeks design it like this? Because go is one on the start. You don't count. You don't count the one to get there. Somebody took you and put you there. You didn't get there from nothing, so you started at zero. And then your first step that you made was one. So that's why when you always add up things and you add one to the end of it, it's because the one spot you were to begin with, the one spot you ended up with is the two spots you are. And all of that in between would be what? Eight? But 8 would touch the sides of 9 and 9, or 10 and 10. So you make it 7. So you can touch one side, but you can't touch the other side. That's when you come up and... And... Hold on a second. No, I can't find it. I can't find it. I can't find it. Where is it? Here's part of it. You understand? You see one world is upside down from the other world. They feed off of each other. If you really wanted to figure it out... Part of it, part of the design is where, you know, you can go right to the center of a magic trick right over here, but because it keeps turning, you can't go through, but the center is a core ball. No matter how much the outside turns, the ball goes nowhere, and it stays perfectly aligned so there can be movement, because the seventh card and the eighth card are the same card. The sixth goes in between. 
the one and the and the one card and the two card in cards, but not in the dice. Um, so we ended up with this is my dice cube. See the way it looks like different levels? See underneath? One level space, two level space. If I did it like this, can you see it any better with the spaces? It looks like a house. Like I said, you see, the earth might be like this, right? Or bent over like this. I don't think anybody's really ever gone over here. And if they have, they might call it just a southern pole. Because underneath the earth, I think it actually looks like this. Open it up. Whoop! Must have been the Titanic. Close it. Whoop! Bermuda Triangle. Space? Did we actually check on space? Or is James Kirk somewhere underneath this world we live? Raphael 7026 in the constellation of Pegasus. There's so much and so much more. There is one thing I will say before I say any more, if I can find my phone. I saw a sign today that was on the road. And it marked, there's going to be a three, that you need to make a three minute drill in order to get out of the, of the schools for fires. Okay, this is what they're telling the children. So it must be for the young children because everybody else, when they're older, they're just going to go home. So they tell these kids that prepare, there's going to be a drill. And I just saw this brand new beautiful sign. They stuck it up. There's going to be a drill to leave just in case there's a fire. Planning that if some, something comes from outer space, they're not telling us that it was caused by us, by our scientists that created something so bad that something's going to fall from outer space. B, something can be from outer space. One of the two are likely. The thing is, with this picture and the design and everything it said, it was at night with a full moon. So this full moon or the next full moon, but I'll tell you one thing. Anytime there's going to be a full moon or coming of the full moon within two or three days, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'd like to know what the temperature and the weather's going to be like. It's been way too hot. Something in preparation, right? Right? Who's... Hello, yes. Oh, you're controlling, yes. Oh, so it's your turn this year? Oh, you're doing the weather. Right. So you're making the weather. Is that correct? Oh, you are making the weather. Well, I just want you to, to tell you that make it nice for my old family in Russia, because I used to come from Russia. That, well, not actually me, but my, my grandfather's sperm. Yes, his sperm came from Russia. And my great-grandfather, his sperm came from Austria. And my great-grandmother's eggs also, they came from the ground somewhere out there. So I, I must be somewhere out there. They ate the vegetables that made the brain who I am today. I want to I thank you. I, yes, and you do. Oh, oh I, I didn't even know. Am I still on? Oh, um, um, thank you for watching Raphael7286. It's quite yellow in here, is it not? <laughs>